when it all started for me, well, my dad's a golf professional, um, so golf's been in the family. The family's been into retail golf business, so I was always around it. I loved all sports, like cricket and footy down in Australia. Probably more growing up, but then that kind of quickly changed when I was about 10 or 11 years of age, and then golf became my number one sport, and the others slowly dropped off and golf um, prevailed. Yeah, my four wins, um, all in Asia. You can't plan where you have your wins. Two have been around the same golf course. The first one in India, you probably argue that it's a similar type golf course, but the last one was a different type of golf course, different conditions. So, um, no, you probably have to kind of, I guess, put it into the category of what type of golf courses and what type of golf it is. So I think that's the only way you can probably um, kind of group them together. Going into the playoff, I was, I was pretty confident. I, I hit a fantastic part in the 72nd hole in regulation, didn't go in. One shot at a time, I was playing well. I knew that I knew I'd give myself a chance going up there. You never can't control what your playing partner does. So yeah, I was confident, but I was trying to control my own stuff. Um, yeah, and then I what 12 footer and yeah, you can't really feel too much of your body at that point, but I knew I was a right to lefter and uh, I was putting well, so I knew I had a good chance of making it and I did so. Since um, Thailand International Series, I went over, I was reserved in Arizona for a week, so I had a week to um, practice there, I guess, because um, I didn't end up playing. And then I went to Hong Kong. I played, I played really well there, but I made a lot of sloppy mistakes, and my game was really good there. I've just come off two weeks off at home, even though they were hectic two weeks, but um, catch up with the family after being on the road for eight weeks. But now, I'm, yeah, I'm feeling good. Like, I like the golf course. It's a Greg Norman design. He always does good golf courses. This is built in some pretty heavy dunes. Yeah, I didn't know what to expect. I didn't expect to have a golf course like this here, to be honest, like to be quite a, quite a Lynx style golf course. But um, hopefully the wind gets up a little bit. Um, yeah, it's hard to know what kind of score it's gonna pump out. But yeah, no, I'm looking forward to getting into it. I got a taste of live last year. That was fantastic in its first season. To be part of all eight tournaments last year was amazing. I'm not there this year, I want to be back there. So you can't do that without performing and I was lucky enough to perform or good enough or whatever you want to call it to perform well in um, Thailand and win. So that's put that front and foremost on my radar. International series is so important for me this year and I'm going to play every one of them and I'm going to be um, pushing pretty hard to finish at the top of that uh, money list. It's fantastic, but it really felt like a family. We all um, started in London, or quite a big part of the group started in, in London, and you really felt this camaraderie. The word's been used a lot. It's like a family, whether it's the, fam well, the, the, the players and their families or the staff, everyone, we're all in it together, and we really enjoyed that process. You know, you've got a small group out there, locker room's not as crammed, but you really kind of move together as a tour even though it's smaller and um, I've made some great friends out there like I said I want to get back there I'm still part of the not part of the show but I'm part of the behind the scenes bit at the moment but um, yeah it was fantastic to, to have a start up tour if you like go from where it did I think it was in June May or June to where it is now and to be part of that um, was unbelievable uh, no we've had a good year and I've been on tour a long time I think it's my 20th or 21st year on tour and it's always an individual sport and you're, you're riding everything solo. You might have one good mate out here or, or kind of whatever, but the team aspect was something completely different for me. You need to have guys that you're looking at the leaderboard all the time and you kind of want them to do better than you. you know, it's, it's just a real different dynamic out there and you're really fighting for your team and um, your lockers are together, everything's together and you've really got the team atmosphere, which is cool. Yeah, well, the International Series has been an amazing addition to the Asian Tour. I think we've got 10 events this year, all around that $2 million uh, US mark, which is huge. So um, it's really boosted our schedule. Um, you'll see players come here um, playing the Asian Tour as a destination tour now, not an add-on tour or just trying to grab six or eight events like we did in the old days with the co-sanctioned events. So there's a massive interest for young players coming up wanting to come to the Asian Tour, not just for the International Series, but for the pathways that it's, um, it, it has now, and the total prize purses on offer throughout the year. So it's a proper tour that you can play 20, 25 events on now, which is something that we haven't been able to do in the past. I think it's fantastic. When I first heard of the news that we were going up there, it was um, amazing, you know, to, um, St Andrews is an amazing town, and um, no town with more history in golf 
Um, so to be going there, I've played the golf course before, I've played there, it's, um, it's a wonderful place, it's, it's got beautiful views and it's a good golf course, but um, it just shows you how global the International Series is going and will continue to go, so I'm really looking forward to being part of it. Yeah, well I've had two weeks at home, but I don't think I've had a break if you know what I mean, so um, I don't normally put too much personal on my Instagram, but um, no, it was, it was my birthday, my daughter's birthday, then um, yeah, we went up to the river and probably a few too many beers at different points, but um, no, it's been it's been good. It's great catch up with the family. It's just a busy time of year for me and for the next probably three or four weeks. But after that, I'll, um, things might slow down a little bit for me and then, um, yeah, I can properly enjoy my win.